no one else will defend the world, then I must. Greetings Multiverse, Supergirl Season 2 concluded recently with the epic Nevertheless She Persisted. After all the action and drama had concluded we were left with an intriguing and cryptic cliffhanger, much like the pod at the end of Season 1, which this season was revealed as containing Monau of Daxum. In the Season 2 cliffhanger we flash back to Krypton just after Kara was sent to Earth, where we see several mysterious hooded figures sending a baby off planet in a similar rocket ship to Kara and Kalal's. A baby that drinks blood. Now there's been speculation about this baby being everything from Doomsday to Lara on the Kryptonian werewolf. But this is silly, because the hooded figures clearly and notably say a crucial word at the very end. Rain. And Rain is a powerful and interesting character from the comics, who make a fine villain for season 3 of Supergirl. Furthermore, it's just been reported that Odette Annabelle of Pure Genius and Cloverfield has been cast as Rain, so the show is already gearing up for the arrival of this incredible character and, as you'll soon see, a proper Supergirl villain. So who is Rain? That's the question and we're here to answer it for you. Rain is a female Kryptonian and the leader of a group called the World Killers, named after Kryptonian myth five biological medical experiments designed to create the ultimate weapons. They were created on Krypton and escaped its destruction. They were outlawed by the Council of Krypton because they were uncontrollable monsters, and Supergirl's father, Zor-El, had a hand in their creation, which would explain why the compound was so close to Kara's home on Krypton, and why the rocket ship looked so similar to hers. We haven't learned much about zor in the last two seasons of Supergirl, so hopefully season three will flesh him out a bit using his ties to Rain. Rain is a very recent villain from the comics, first appearing in the new 52 Supergirl comic series in issue number five. She suffered from memory loss and sought out Supergirl in the hope that she could fill in those memory gaps, but Kara couldn't help her, and so Rain attempted to take over the Earth with the help of three of her fellow world killers. She tried to get Supergirl to join them, but Kara refused. Rain is incredibly powerful, designed to be an ultimate killer and has beaten Supergirl on several occasions. She and her fellow world killers only left Earth after Supergirl managed to hurt one of them. Rain didn't want to risk any harm coming to her friends and so they left and have currently not returned. She has vowed to face Supergirl again at some point in the future. Apart from that though, Rain's only goal is to solve the mystery of her creation. The three world killers that accompanied Rain to Earth include Dea Max, Perilous and Flower of Heaven. World killers are only vulnerable to each other, so Supergirl uses that to her advantage by using the poisonous claws of Perilous against Deamax and forcing them to flee Earth. Originally, the fifth world killer was suspected to be Doomsday, but later Supergirl meets the real world killer, a parasite that finally infects her when she wore a red lantern ring. She manages to remove the ring, expecting to die and taking World Killer 1 with her, but the sun's rays allow her to return to normal, whereupon she returns to Earth and World Killer 1 is destroyed. It remains to be seen the role Rain will take in Season 3 of Supergirl. She could be a friendly character at first and only turn evil later, or be evil from the start, which might be a little boring. And we have no idea if the other World Killers will show up, or if Rain is the only one. That final scene in Supergirl did make her seem a lot more important than just the leader of her team. Regardless, we'll find out more about Rain closer to Supergirl's season 3 premiere later this year. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for daily DC Comics videos, leave a like below they really help us out and if you leave a comment with your thoughts we'll be sure to answer. Catch you later.